Okay, here's um here's another one. I'm actually gonna do the um oh let's see, so uh I'm gonna do the server now. Oops. Uh it should be running, okay. So I can So I can look at settings here, I can uh let's see. I can restore it from the menu, I can there are some um, settings menus right here. Uh, key pairs, which um, password cache. You can do uh, blocked IPs. Um, log folder, that's like for your logs. Um, Pop-up notifications, which I <laughs> I don't know why, why in the world would you want to set those up on the server, but anyway. Uh, you can do the persistent um, icon tray or you can exit control panel so I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to edit settings here we go what do we got okay so the server is the first one here Um, you can reset settings. Um, Windows Firewall. Uh, like, there's some different thresholds I'm not not totally sure about. So you can, there's just a bunch of, um, settings here about, like, you know, um, typing in terminals and whatnot. You can automatically back up your settings. Uh, we've got... Oops. Uh, you can do, there's your bindings, that has all your settings that uh, pertain to that. You uh, It supports either IPv4 or IPv6. Uh, we're on an IPv4 based network here, so that's the way it's going to be set up on the power edge. Um, and then you can do the, uh, you've got your Windows firewall settings. So you can tell it, like, it can actually open up those ports automatically for you so you don't have to futz with manually creating the rules, which is cool. Oops. Uh, you can log. You can log to the Windows event log, which that's checked by default. Uh, errors and warnings, that's probably what I would have. And I also have it logging to a textual log file because um, I can have other enumerators um, such as Foglight Network Management System, um, which can enumerate LOG files, and that's going to be that is definitely hopefully going to be on the uh, Dell Dimension E510. And eventually, like all these videos that I'm going to be doing are going to come together in a single environment, and I will show you that once I get everything set up and uh, you will actually get to see uh, me documenting a lot of that. Anyway, so that's why I have it logging to a text file so that other scripts and other things can like enumerate it. So, And I would do errors, warnings, and info on that because um, the good thing is the log files are going to go to a big old storage space made from um, my two non-portable desktop size hard drives, you probably remember them. They're both USB 2.0. One's a Western Digital 
Uh, I think it's like WD-44 something, 4400, I think. And the other one's a simple tech something. I'm not 100% sure, but anyway. So th all the log files are going to be on a storage space, so I'll I'll show you that. Oh, and of course you can do the directory, which um, I'm probably going to end up changing the directory uh, once I actually set it up on the server. Uh, create log files with restricted access. I'm not really sure what the heck that is, but... And then you can roll them over on different, you know, by different criteria. You can do by size, by time. Um, uh, you can do, there's uh, debugging, which I don't really care about. So you can do like um, uh, encryption, you can set all that stuff up. Let's see what happens. Oh, oops, I'm like a goof, I didn't go down far enough. <laughs> so, so you can do the, all the different um, key algorithms. Oops. Then compression, you've got your sessions, uh, IP blocking, you can do whitelists. Um, access control, that's like for password cache stuff. Uh, pa you know, you can cache usernames, that's not checked by default. Uh, clear password from cache on failure, I'll probably yeah, I'll probably check that on mine, although there's only going to be a few folks using SSH to remotely access the server, at least, well, at least for um, administration. With, for SFTP, there's probably going to be more of us, but still. Uh, synchronize with authorized keys. Uh, allow Windows account password change, so that's if you're using Windows accounts, which we're probably going to be using Windows accounts because we're going to be using Active Directory, which actually means that um, I'm going to have to, which means I'm going to have to um, pay for this server because when SSHD does not, the uh, personal edition doesn't work on a domain controller, and rightly so because normally, you know, the average person is not going to be running a domain controller outside of a business environment, but me and the rest of the Access Cop network, uh, which is um, uh, YouTube users uh, Twilight Singer 3, aka Ashley Bernard, um, Locutus Picard 1, aka Albano Berberi, um, as well as some others that aren't on YouTube, we are all geeks, so we're going to be using Active Directory, and eventually it'll all make sense to you how everything's all set up, but uh, these videos, you know, don't worry, there's definitely, I'm definitely leading to something here. But anyway, uh, so virtual account, that's if we're using virtual accounts, which we're not, because we're going to be using an um, Active Directory, so... Um, you can do Windows Groups, Windows Accounts, but again, that's all in Active Directory, so... Oh yeah, virtual groups, you can't forget about those. And you can do rules. Um, huh, I guess that's it. So that's rules about, those are access rules, which I'll probably be making, oops, whoops, huh, shoot, and I clicked the track point. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> menu popped up that uh, I didn't necessarily mean for it to pop up. So, um, that is WinSSHD, guys, and as you can see, uh, I think this...
I think it's um running. Yeah, it is. It's running. So, yeah, it's running on um port uh 22, which of course nobody's going to be connecting to uh this computer. Um but Um, huh. So, yeah, so that's kind of, that's interesting. And, um, maybe I'll do a, a local, um, connection showing, um, showing Tunlier, because I haven't actually, I haven't actually seen that. Maybe, maybe I'll do that tomorrow for you guys. Um, but it's kind of late this evening, and I'm actually getting kind of tired, but I wanted to do these videos for you guys. Um, Essentially, all these screencasts are things that I do in my own setup, so I figured I would create screencasts to show them, you know, with little hints of what the Access Cop network is doing. Um, so, you'll be getting more hints as it goes along, and uh, we'll keep you updated. So, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Whoops. Jeez, I did it again. Ugh. Wow. Okay.